All right, this week, I'm trying my hand at making a strawberry chiffon pie. And so for this, to start off, I've already cut up about two pounds of strawberries, fresh strawberries, and put in about a half, five ounces of sugar. Let them sit in the fridge for an hour. Um, this is to draw out the juices of the strawberry strawberries and so I'm going to pour and strain this out. I'm going to use the juice from the strawberries as part of the liquid for the for the pie. And these are just coarse cut strawberries. They're not very fine. They don't need to be. <clears throat> just want to get that juice out. back together. All right, we can set that aside. So to the strawberry juice, we're going to add our salt and then put it on the stove and bring it to a boil. So our salt is half an ounce of salt. Once this gets to a boil, we're going to add in some cornstarch and water. So I'm going to measure that out now. It is half an ounce of cornstarch and two ounces of water. Okay, that's two ounces. Starch. There we go. You want this to be cold water um, just so that the cornstarch is not thickened. We're going to be using this to thicken the strawberry drippings. Alright, so we have the strawberry juice on the stove, just getting it to a boil, and then we'll add the cornstarch in and thicken it up. And once this thickens, we're just going to pull it off the heat. Alright, there we go. Pull it off. Leave it to the side. So next, the recipe uses both the cornstarch, some eggs, and gelatin to thicken this. So for this, we're going to need four ounces now of cold water. And we need half an ounce of lemon juice. And half an ounce of gelatin. So you can get gelatin at the store. It's just unflavored gelatin. Um, this whole thing is one ounce. And it has four envelopes inside. So for this, we'll need two of these. You can get, um, this is powder, but you can get gelatin that is in strips. If you do that, you just want to put the strips in, kind of let them flow in the water until they soften. So I'm going to sprinkle this. And then because it's powder, I will mix it up. There's just this spoon from. Got my strawberry in there. So as you stir this, it'll it'll you can feel it. It'll get a little thick. That's the gelatin kind of reconstituting, absorbing water. Just want to get to a point where you don't have any large chunks left that haven't kind of reconstituted. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir this into the hot, thickened juice that we just made. Um, and stir that until it's completely dissolved. We don't need to do it over the stove. So 
I'm going to pull it back over here. We've got our thickened liquid here um, to it. I'm going to add this gelatin, water, and lemon juice. Okay, it looks pretty clear. It's combined pretty well. So the final bit is going to be to add the strawberries to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get a bigger bowl because the final step will be folding in beaten egg whites to this mixture and so I'm going to need a lot of room for that. So I'm going to take this large bowl and in it I'm going to put all the strawberries and I'm using a spatula to kind of scrape the bowl because there is some still like sugary juice in here that I want to make sure gets included. Also add this mixture we just made. Also making sure to kind of scrape out and get everything in here. And get this all mixed together. So we are going to let this chill while we whip up the egg whites. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to leave this out at room temperature for now. I don't want to stick it. We don't want it to fully set. So I don't want to stick it in the fridge until the egg whites are pretty much ready to go. So I'll stick this behind me. I will stick it in the fridge at one point to cool it a little faster. But for right now it's fine. And we're going to use the, the KitchenAid here to whip up the egg yolks or egg whites because it's just going to be a lot faster than doing them by hand. So for this we need 8 ounces of egg whites. I already have some saved from something before. So we'll start with that. That's 2.5. For recipes that typically ask for one, only one half of the egg, I'll try to save the other half in case I do a recipe right after that like, just needs yolks. I can have some yolks that are ready to go. It's actually even good. You can plan this out. So if you're going to make something like this that uses just the egg whites, you could make like a bread that uses egg yolks. Or another dessert that uses a lot of egg yolks and that will make it so you don't have to waste any. Alright, so that's up six and a half ounces. We need to get to eight. Okay, it's pretty close. 7.9. Probably gonna have to 7.92, so we'll have to stop there. I'm not gonna be able to get 0.08 of an egg yolk, of an egg white out of an egg at this point. So I'm beating these egg whites, we want to get to a meringue. So I'm going to use the whisk attachment for the KitchenAid. While the egg whites are going, I'm going to measure out the sugar for this. It's six ounces of sugar. So this is a soft peak, as you can see it's leaving a trail as it goes through. Um, they are, the egg whites are kind of staying in peaks. It's like, as you lift it out, you can see there's a little peak left. 
This is the point where we're going to add the sugar in and we're going to keep going until we get to a meringue. So we're looking for hard peaks um, as our final stage. So we have a little bit more stability to work with to mix in everything else. Um, and that shouldn't take too long. So at this point, I'm going to stick the other mixture into the fridge while we finish these off. All right, at this point, you can see that it's very much holding its shape. Uh, it is still um, uh, what's it? it's got a sheen on the outside. So I'm going to go a little bit longer and then we're going to combine the two together. <laughs> Good for what we need. Take all this off. You can see we're starting to get it's much more solidified in here than before. Now before I combine these all and finish off, I've already pre-baked a pie shell. I want to show you what happens. If you don't let your pie shell kind of cool in the fridge, chill before you bake it. You can get this, you can see how it's like receded, it's pulled back. Um, right after, this one I was in a hurry, so I rolled it, put it on the pie shell, and then baked it right away. Um, when that happens, you run the risk of the pie shell kind of pulling back. So to this, I'm gonna add the egg whites. I'm probably going to get a bigger spatula because we want to fold this together. It's easier to fold things together if you work with a little bit more surface area than that. So I'll grab a larger spatula. So you're going to do Holding something together, you're just going underneath and grabbing the amount and pulling it up through. You want to kind of do this as gently as you can. You can get everything combined, but not kind of deflate the egg whites too much. Very much still very white. So, it's only you can do. I'm going to check and see if I have any. So, you can add a little bit of coloring to them if you want that to look more of like a red. Alright, and you grab this and maybe four drops. And I'm going to fold that in as well just to get it a little bit of color. And if you do want to do this where you want to add, have it be a little bit more red and not as white, you can add the coloring in when you're actually beating the egg whites to start. So this is a nice little pink. We're going to add it to the pie tin. Probably enough for this pie. What I'm going to do is take the rest of this and I'm going to put it in something else. I'm going to stick both of these in the fridge to set and we'll go from there. Alright, so you can see it's set up well. So, that way if you were to cut it in pie, you can see that it would give you a nice kind of clean cut. Last step I'm going to do for this pie is to 
make a whipped cream to put on top. Now this is 16 ounces, we'll use about half of it. And that should be enough cream. At this point, I'm going to put a third of a cup of sugar in. For this, if you save some strawberries, you know, cut up, slice up the strawberries and arrange them on top, just for a nice decoration. But that is ready for service. <laughs> <laughs>